Well, it's set to have its world premiere at the Christchurch Arts Festival. Musical The Things Between Us is a provocative and playful look at coupledom in the modern world. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe its writer Luke DeSoma and cast members Kerry Ann Greenland and Jack Buchanan. Oh, yes. welcome. Um, first up, we must say welcome to you all, but Luke, um, big congratulations to you too. That bloody woman, that's all your work too. Yes, yeah, me and uh, Greg Cooper, my collaborator on that, so we're excited. It's doing a national tour. At the moment, very, very um, appropriate, seeing as it's election time. Time. Indeed. We're, we're in Hamilton tonight, I think, and then Auckland uh, from next Tuesday, so it's really exciting. Nice. nice. Well, you time. need to slow down, do you? Because uh, <laughs> tell us more about The Things Between Us. This is a, a new musical that I've written, uh, working with uh, Shane Bosher, a uh, great New Zealand director. It's a commission from the Arts Festival in Christchurch, and it's a kind of relationship story, kind of sort of a romantic comedy uh, about two people who meet each other and navigate some of the kind of stuff in their lives and work through various things. But it's been a really fun project. We're still rehearsing it today. We're literally come from rehearsal. Uh, and the guys are doing an amazing job and it's really exciting seeing it come together. Fantastic. Kerry ann tell me a little bit about your... Well, first up, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. It's your birthday today. You get to take two chocolate oh, balls home excited. with you. Do I get a little candle? You'll get a candle in your chocolate <laughs> ball as well. Congratulations. <laughs> um, so tell you. us a little bit about your role in it. So um, my role is, it's just an exploration of relationships. So my partner in the show is played by lovely lady Colleen. Um, and yeah, it's just the journey throughout, which modern day relationships do move quite quickly, I think, maybe in comparison to what they used to. And yes. So it's been fun learning all of that. Very you put the role of music. Dom, we can say that, Oh right? yes, sorry, yeah. Each other is my character well, a few <laughs> secrets we don't want to give away, you know, but here yes, is playing Dom, Dom, so yeah, it's cool. And then, uh, and you are... I'm Sam. Sam, and my character is an <laughs> aspiring musician. Um, he works in a bar, and um, we open uh, hit, well, the first time we see Sam. He's singing a song about all the casual sex he's having. So that's oh, nice. okay, yeah. okay. So when you're talking about coupledom and you know the, the trials and tribulations in the modern world that they mm. go through, what are some of those? I think it's exploring issues of technology in some respects. I was about to say, can you put yeah. that photo of him on Facebook? Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and issues of, you know, monogamy, or do you want to be a bit more free? Uh, and then later on, things around life decisions, where do you live, do you have kids, all that kind of stuff. So we're exploring the kind of those aspects of it. But part of it, from a writing point of view, is going, what do you sacrifice for the other person? At what point do you, you know, not that I'm giving anything away, but at what point do you move city or change your job or, mm. you know, sacrifice yeah. a big life thing for someone else? So we're exploring those things with these awesome actors. And How also uh, Jack Barry and Colleen Davis are in the cast as well. When you say it was commissioned, so they come to you and say, we want you to do a show about this, or they just say, we want you to do a show? Well, they say, yeah, we want you to write something else. What ideas do you have? And they have a chat about it and work on... So it's very collaborative, but it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a two-step process. They want to know what you want to write, and you've got to decide together what you work on. And, and Kerry, yeah, mm. you know, you come from something like Les Mis, where yeah. everyone knows that musical around the yeah. world. How hard is it to transition into a musical that is completely brand new? Well, it's super exciting. Of course, learning the music is like the first big technical thing because it's not something that you can sit there and listen to someone else doing. You know, it's sitting down with the notes on the paper and freaking out a little bit, um, and then, especially with a lot of your fast um, patter that's written in. Yeah. But, you know, it's exciting and learning new harmonies and learning new voices. Like, it's such a collaborative piece as well it's from the first day. Oh, and it could become a classic. You never know that's how it's going to work. Yeah. Um, Luke, you've obviously had this in your blood for years because did you come third or something in a in a competition when you were with your flute? How did you know oh, this? Just, <laughs> this is not supposed to be on television and now. And so who came second? Hayley Westerner came second. Yes. And it was wow. really funny. I, and some guy from... Um, who came first? I know, <laughs> this, guy from, this guy from Ring Euro did Elvis Appreciations came first. But <laughs> I think I actually worked with Hayley a couple of years ago on the Cricket World Cup. I mean, so many yeah. in Christchurch, I was cutting in the choir. And I said, to her, hi, do you remember me? We did that talent contest together about 10 years ago. She's like, no. no. <laughs> devastated. Just devastated. She's never getting cast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No shows for you. No, she's, she's super lovely. She was really great. <laughs> and Jack, we're going to hear you sing a song from the show in just a minute. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to know, with the modern couples, are they all 
uh, straight couples or are there gay couples in the show or how does that work? Or Luke is, uh, this is this is maybe some secret territory. Well, oh, find, okay. You, come come to the show and find out. All of the, okay. the, char the characters are Dom and Sam, and you can mm. work out the rest when you come and see. Okay, it. okay, good, right? good, good. Yes, yeah. yeah. sweet. And uh, look, look, I wanted to talk briefly about Andrew Lloyd Webb, but what an amazing man! How cool was it getting to do a workshop with him? Yeah, well, we were working in his theatre, so I met him very briefly a couple of months ago. But uh, he's got this great theatre in London called the Other Palace, which is uh, kind of fast becoming a place for new musicals to develop. So I've been working on a project with some British collaborators uh, called Dino Story, which is like a dinosaur musical for families oh, and stuff. Awesome. Yeah, really fun, <laughs> kind of like a vegetarian T-Rex and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, you know, political. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so they've got a kind of presentation in the other palace, which is his uh, theatre that he's recently acquired and is trying to develop into a home for new musicals. So oh, wow. We didn't, really? I wasn't really working with him as such, but it's his venue when I got to meet him. So Don't it was really... explain it. You were definitely working with You're him. You're with him. Yeah. Yeah. Best friends. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, the Things Between Us premieres on September 14th at the Christchurch Arts Festival. You can visit artsfestival.co.nz for ticket details. Yeah, thank you so much for coming yeah. in. Have a great birthday day. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Job <laughs> for <balls>. sure. <laughs> and Jack will be performing Corner of the Forest from the musical in just a few minutes. How lucky are we? Yeah. We love the performances here at the cafe. Yeah. There's much more to this place than my corner of the forest Don't I want to know what else might be in store? There's no one here to bug me in my corner of the forest But I don't know what will happen if I get out and explore But adventure's no adventure if the weather's always fine a journey's not a journey without some trees to climb Do I wait in my corner of the forest? Do I wait behind you? Do I wait behind you? Do I stay in my corner of the forest? Or do I come and find you? Do I come and find you? I might get lost in leaves I might find some dodgy fruit I might trip over branches I might trip over some roots But I'd rather be out and getting lost Exploring the unknown I'd rather be stuck with someone else Than happy on my own I can't wait in my corner of the forest I can't wait behind you, I can't wait behind you, I can't stay in my corner of the forest. I will come and find you, I will come and find you, I will come and find you.